Hello everyone, hope all of you are fine and doing very very well. We are here to present the lectures through the platform of our channel that is Pharmacology Notes and the topic is delivered by registered pharmacist Humaira Shaheen. We are going to study about a topic that is termed as synapses. Yes, today we will study about synapses. Do you know what is synapse? When any neuron wants to communicate with an another neuron or the signaling between neuron to neuron or neuron to effector cells occurs through a gap, through a junction that is termed as synapses, right? So synapses is anatomical junction between two neurons. Yes, it's an anatomical junction between two neurons. As we all know that neurons are separate anatomical entities and they are not connected to one another for connection, for communication, to send the signals. They need to need a communication across a gap and there is released mostly a chemicals or uh, there uh, could be uh, electrical signals which will help them to communicate with one another. So any anatomical junction between two neurons, neuron to neuron or neuron to effectors, it is termed as synapses, right? Now, this junction between this, these neurons is termed as synapses. And any of a neuron which is present before the synapse will be termed as, yes, pre-synaptic neuron. And any of the neuron which is present after this junction, it will be termed as post-synaptic neuron, yes. Any of the neuron which is present before this synapse is termed as presynaptic neuron and a neuron after this synapse is termed as postsynaptic neuron. Then what is this gap called? Yes, this is termed as synaptic cleft. So a junction including synaptic cleft between presynaptic neuron and postsynaptic neuron is eventually called a synapsis. Why this synapsis is so important? Because they are responsible for communication between neurons and these synapses cause synchronization among these neurons. If this is activated and the next need to be activated, then Synchronization is also very important for the eventual effect and this uh, synchronization is just because of synapses. Then there are multiple types of synapses. Obviously, among this anatomical junction, uh, between this junction or in this junction, this communication between presynaptic neuron and postsynaptic neuron could happen through chemicals, through uh, sig uh, signals. So, electrical signals, so we can classify this synapses into two types further, that it could be of two types, whether it is electrical synapse or second one that is chemical synapse. So, there are two types of synapse, that is electrical synapse and chemical synapse. So let's study electrical synapse first. Electrical synapse is a type of a synapse where the two neurons are connected to each other by a specific ion channels. Where there are two neurons and they are so closely present and there lies ion channels. Right? Whenever action potential comes here and it causes the release of 
uh, it causes a release of ions or it causes ions to move in or out causing a threshold to be reached and ultimately causes a synchronization between this neuron then it is termed as synapses but which type of synapse it is an electrical synapse when the communication between two neurons occur through electrical signals only and uh, uh, due to these ion channels then it is termed as electrical synapse right then the second type which we study too much that is chemical synapse chemical synapse whenever we are having a presynaptic neuron a postsynaptic neuron and there is no direct communication